In a previous Revit tutorial, I've showed you how to use the section box tool to cut away your 3D model in order to better explain your design. So I'll just very quickly recap that now before we move on to selection boxes. So I'm in the default 3D view here. And we've got a fairly simple model to work with. So if we look at the properties for the 3D view, and we look about halfway down, we'll see a parameter called section box. Turn that on by putting a tick in it and we get this wireframe cube around our model and I simply click on that cube and there is a pair of grips for every face of that cube and I can simply click and hold on those grips move that cutting plane and it will cut away at the model so that's how section boxes work but there is a much quicker way of choosing which elements you want uh, this section box to work on and that's the use of a selection box so I'm just going to turn off this section box that we just created so I go back to the parameters for the 3d view uncheck section box and it brings back the whole model so if we look on the modify panel uh, we've got a little uh, panel there called view and we've got selection box so what we can do is simply pick an item by drawing a, a box around it or, or making a selection set and you can see this tool the selection box tool is now available to us so go ahead and click on that and it immediately isolates the element that we picked in our selection set so to see the whole model again you can simply untick section box because that's all it's done by using that selection box tool it's just created a section box like we did manually before and sort of pulled it in around the elements that we selected so if I go and turn section box off we get the whole model and the beauty of this tool is that we can use it in other views so for example if we go to a plan view we can simply select let's say two windows and the door hit the selection box it immediately takes us to the default 3d view with the section box in place and our um, our chosen elements isolated now if you're going to go ahead and place this view onto a sheet as part of your presentation I would suggest you probably don't want to see the wireframe of the section box itself so you can turn off the visibility of that uh, so that has its own annotation category so if I hit VV to bring up the visibility and graphics overrides and that section box is an annotation so we need to go to the second tab annotation categories scroll down and there we have a category for section boxes just turn off the visibility of the section box itself in this view it's okay and there that that view looks a, a bit more presentable to drop onto a sheet